Going Deeper with Remediation, Understanding New Media by J. David Bolter and Richard Gresson. I originally wanted to record myself live, however, had some trouble with the lighting and the timing of who might be able to record me, and then I realized that the images would be equally as powerful. According to Bolter and Gresson, all mediums, including new media, are a result of the remediation of another. For instance, television remediated film and radio by making elements from each to create something new. Another term often associated with this is repurposing, borrowing or taking a property from one medium and reusing it for another. New media is the on-demand access to content anytime, anywhere, on any digital device, as well as interactive use, feedback, and creative participation. Another aspect of new media is the real-time generation of new and unregulated content. Digital technologies are proliferating faster than our cultural, legal, or educational institutions can keep up with. There is a rapid development of new media and the culture's contradictory imperatives for immediacy and hypermediacy. The idea of immediacy and audience wanting to be there live, for instance with webcams, and the desire for immediacy leads digital media to borrow avidly from each other as well as from their analog predecessors such as earlier mentioned film, television, and photography. No medium today, and certainly no single media event, seems to do its cultural work in isolation from other media, any more than it works in isolation from other social economic forces. What is new about new media comes from the particular ways in which they refashion older media and the ways in which older media refashion themselves to answer the challenges of new media. Repurposing as remediation is both what is unique to digital worlds and what denies the possibility of that uniqueness. Even if 10 years ago we thought of computers exclusively as numerical engines and word processors, we now think of them also as devices for generating images, reworking photographs, holding video conferences, and providing animation and special effects for film and television.